Hi friends, it's my birthday this week, so like last year, I'm making a little self-portrait so that I can look back on who I am now. So here's the story of my last year. At 27, nothing in particular happened to me, at least nothing that required notifying my bank or the United States Postal Service or my therapist about. I'm still at the same job, living in the same city, in the same state, in the same apartment. I'm in the same relationship, I have the same friends. Hell, I even saw the same dentist for seven different appointments last year. But because for once nothing was shifting externally, it made space for everything internally to shift. Now, I'm not a Maslow's hierarchy of needs gal, but it's amazing what you can accomplish when you realize that you're gonna be in one spot for a while, so you might as well get comfortable. When you stop trying to just physically move away from all your problems and just sit with them. Like I look at the self-portrait I made last year and I see someone who's still in a lot of pain, who's been through a lot of loss, who feels the sense of time and opportunity slipping away and so is pledging to make big, bold moves. But maybe I'm not a big, bold moves kind of gal right now. Like I'm a move so small and imperceptible that I didn't even notice they were happening until I looked back on me from a year ago and saw a different person there. But I still have a lot in common with her. Like I'm still pretty laser focused on my career or careers. Like that in trying to describe who I am, that's what feels like me. Between my day job, helping campaigns and nonprofits use text messaging and making these videos and all kinds of other writing projects that I've taken on, I keep myself plenty busy, but I still have a lot of aspirations and ambitions to do more. Because on one hand, I feel like I'm not doing enough materially to make the world better. Like my channel tagline is storytelling and social change, but I feel like I've been a little light on the social change lately. And I'm always trying to kind of contend with the idea of whether I'm allowed to not check my work email on weekends while there are still families that are separated and poll taxes being enacted and just all sorts of vulnerable populations getting left further and further behind. I've been trying to figure out if I can do well by the collective and also do well by myself. Um, I worry that I've grown weary in doing good but I also know that there are people who have been at the work of progress for much longer than I have, so maybe it's my place right now to listen to what they need from me. Like with all my side creative projects, I was feeling like, wow, 30 is not far away. I guess I've got to do something big now. Like I had such great expectations for my creative career that I felt like I wasn't living up to because I've never like blown up. But that's not particularly kind to myself. So I've been pacing myself, practicing. I'm not gonna combust into flames at 30 or 40 or 50, I hope. I have plenty of time. I'm gonna have enough opportunities that I can even say no to the ones that aren't the right fit. Some will come to me and some I'll create. I'm gonna have a long career and personal essays in video form will be a very important part of it. But I've also been working on things that focus less on my face or my voice or my story. I've been writing things that don't even exist online. I'm tying my identity less and less to this one thing and worrying less about living up to the expectations of my past self because I've already been that person and I'm ready for a new project now. I'm a little more self-assured this year. I like spending time with myself more I still wear all black and I still love walking alone at night. I still love obscure books and obscure bands and being a weirdo internet kid. But I found out that I'm not too cool for beach vacations or learning to cook or listening to pop music or collecting plants. Yeah, I'm behind on memes and sometimes my back hurts for no reason, but being 27 also means putting on matching pajamas and ordering Indian food and thinking that that sounds like a wonderful night. I think another subtle change that I've noticed in myself is that I work on things that I feel passionate about, but I also feel passionate about not always working, even though that's hard for me. So I'm working on slow and steady. I value rest. I value stillness. 
I pay attention to the phases of the moon. I make tea and light candles. I take dance classes. I vote in every election. I've discovered that I can have deep and meaningful friendships and be in love and have strong ties with my family and still be my own favorite person, which is good because I'm going to be around here a while. Polite. 